Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at the SG906 drone. This foldable brushless GPS quadcopter has two HD cameras, one for optical flow positioning, the other is a 4K camera. It has follow me, gesture photographs, circular orbit, waypoints, and plenty of other neat features. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this white square box showing the black model clearly there in the front and this is the SG906 by ZLL and it's for ages 14 plus and on the lower left corner you can see it has switchable optical flow dual camera and it has modular adjustable wide angle HD camera GPS smart drone and here at the top you can see the white model with its transmitter there in the top and here on the sides not much going on just plain white and here on the back you can see that we have the uh, black model with the 4k camera marked right there and there's also a white model and also a 1080p Wi-Fi version as well and here at the bottom we have a listing of all its features such as foldable GPS return to home, point of interest, waypoint, intelligent, following, 25-minute uh, flight time, gesture control, photo, and gesture recording. So plenty of neat features there. So now let's open it up and take a look inside. Let's remove this cover here. And right away you can see the drone and transmitter clearly right there. Very nice. Very good packaging there. So let's uh, take a closer look here at the transmitter. So we already put on the um, joysticks and it is a foldable transmitter right here. And um, the antennas don't appear to be uh, legitimate antennas. And these um, foldable portions here are mainly for the mobile device to put the mobile device on top right here we have the drone very nice and it's in its folded compact state and you can see there on the side it's the SG906 quadcopter and it says beast right there in the front and it is foldable and you have to start out with the front legs and then the rear legs and a very good quality very well built drone here below you could see all the antennas, the Wi-Fi antennas and the optical flow camera. And uh, overall a very neat quadcopter. And now looking further into the box we have all the uh, brochures and manuals uh, for the app and for the quadcopter. Here are the little bags with all the accessories. This one has the uh, screwdriver and uh, micro USB cable and this one has the spare propellers and then this package comes with two additional batteries you can get this drone with one two and three batteries and this is the full three battery set as there's already one battery in the drone so let's organize all this and take one last look at the contents of the box now taking a last look at the contents of the box, we have the drone itself with its 7.4 volt 2800 milliamp LiPo battery inserted. We have two additional batteries in this package. We have four spare propellers that are foldable and have a set of screws. We have the transmitter with its instruction manuals and brochures for the drone and app. We have a screwdriver and a micro USB charge cable for the drone's battery. So that's essentially the contents of the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is a cool looking foldable Mavic like quadcopter. And right here in the front, you could see its beast logo right here at the top. And it also says SG906 quadcopter on each of the front legs and you could see the bright LEDs and here in the front you could see its 4k camera that actually shoots video in 2k 
but takes 4K photographs. And here at the bottom, you could see its optical flow camera. And you could see the several antennas. There's a 5G antennas and then also the 2.4 gigahertz antennas. And the camera module is removable, as you could see here. And there is a 1080p and a 4K version of this. This is the 4K camera. And unfortunately, there is no SD card slot on this. All the footage is streamed directly to the mobile device. And uh, you could see the connectors here in the empty space once the camera module is removed. So you can technically put a run cam or some other camera in there if necessary. Because uh, you can fly this quadcopter perfectly well with GPS without using the camera module. And the camera module does somewhat stabilize. It automatically uh, filters out the up and down shakes with the uh, servo motor inside. And so you could reattach it like so. And now uh, looking here at the uh, motors, they have uh, 1806 brushless motors with these foldable uh, propellers. And as you can see, the arms are at an angle when viewed from the side. And the front landing legs protrude out a bit, while the rear landing legs are just small and rubbery. And there are a few here at the bottom as well. And now to look at the uh, LED lights and the battery, we'll just turn it on. And you just keep it pressed for a little bit. And you see the little indicators go on. And as you can see, it has uh, very bright LEDs, one at the top and two green ones here at the front and the two red ones here in the back. So very good for orientation or an early evening flight. Very bright LEDs and you would just simply turn it off by keeping the battery button pressed for a few seconds. And now taking a closer look here at the battery, it has like a latch here that you have to open up and pull out. You have to apply a little pressure and it has a 7.4 volt 2800 milliamp LiPo battery and it is a pretty large battery and keep in mind there is a plastic stopper that initially comes with it so be sure to remove that to fully insert the battery and it does have a smart system here where it has LED indicators to show the level of charge so you simply keep the button pressed to show the charge or to activate the quadcopter and you keep it pressed to turn it off. And it does charge right here on the side through this micro USB port that you can use just about any micro USB cable, it doesn't really matter since the uh, charge indicator is on the battery itself. So the cable doesn't require any indicator. And it does take a while to charge the battery, around two to three hours, uh, depending on the wall charge adapter you're using and um, it does provide the quadcopter with around a 23 to 25 minute flight time. So that's a good flight time there and you just have to snap it in place there. And now continuing on with the quadcopter here, it is a foldable quadcopter. So you would start out with the rear arms followed by the front ones and you want to make sure that the propellers are aligned as they too are foldable. And so lastly here we fold in the front leg and as you can see it's all compact and looks very cool almost like a brick of some sorts. And uh, you can easily unfold it by just starting out with the front legs followed by the rear ones. So very good and it folds very firmly into place and it's uh, very well built. The wiring is not exposed on each of the edges of the leg. So very good construction, very good quality. And so now let's take a closer look at the transmitter. Now taking a closer look at the transmitter, this is a very comfortable compact transmitter that has these fold out antennas and mobile device mount and the antennas appear to be just for looks as there is no wiring behind it so they're not legitimate antennas and the mobile device mount is pretty spacious it can hold a pretty large cell phone but not quite a tablet 
And now looking at the rear of the device, we have the battery compartment with this lid. And it takes four AA batteries there in the back. And it takes a small screw there as well. And now going over the controls a bit, we have the on off button here in the center. And you can see a backlit LCD display and some LED light indicators at the top. And we have our left throttle stick followed by our right rudder stick. And then we have our uh, LCD display and LED lights. And the LCD display has a lot of telemetry such as height and distance and uh, number of satellites. Here we have our speed button with two rates of speed. We have our return to home button. Then we have our video and camera button for pictures. And if you keep the speed button pressed, it will perform a gyro calibration. And if you keep the camera button pressed, it will perform the GPS compass calibration. So those are that those controls there. And here in the back we have some buttons. Um, these here on the on this side right here. This is for the auto takeoff and auto land. This is for the headless mode. And then these here control the um, up and down pitch of the camera. So this one will raise the camera up and that one will lower it. So those are essentially the controls. This transmitter does provide the quadcopter with around an 800 meter range of control. So now let's take a look at setting the quadcopter up for a first time flight and its app. Now setting up for a first time flight is very straightforward. Once you have a fully charged battery inserted into the drone, along with fresh batteries inserted into the transmitter with its mobile device, you would proceed to activate the drone by keeping its battery button pressed for a few seconds until it turns on and you see the LED lights start to blink. At that point you press the center button on the transmitter and it should bind automatically out of the factory. And now you want to proceed with calibrating the gyros by pushing the speed button and keeping it pressed. And you should see the lights blink briefly. Make sure that's done at the ground level with the drone flat and not moving. Now we want to calibrate the GPS compass by keeping the camera button pressed for a couple seconds. You should see the lights on the drone blink. At that point you want to rotate the drone about three or four spins until you hear a brief beep and once you hear the beep now you turn the drone around and you face it downward and spin it clockwise another three or four spins until you hear a final beep and then at that point it should be fully calibrated and so now we have the gyro calibrated and the GPS compass calibrated and it's all bound and ready to go. And so at this point, we want to proceed to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi and use the app. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you want to look for an entry that says XL, 4K, 5G, and a serial number. And if you have the 1080p version of this, it may say 2K or 1080p. But in any case, you want to connect to that. And initially, there is no default Wi-Fi password or anything to that effect. So once connected, you want to go ahead and launch this app right here, which is HFun Plus, which is the second app to HFun. This one is HFun Plus, and it's in both the iOS and Android app stores, and it has that purple icon. So you want to go ahead and launch that and you'll notice right away you have uh, several options on the right hand side. Um, you have some help documentation on using the app and the drone also comes with a small booklet on using the app. And right here you have the flight logs so you can see a listing of all your flights. Here we have some settings such as language, uh, whether you enable anti-shake or not. Uh, whether you auto record so on and so forth here we have a step-by-step -step guide on setting and preparing for the drone flight and app but most importantly you want to launch this option right here and right away we have a live feed with the drone 
and the drone's FPV range is around 350 to 380 meters with the 5G Wi-Fi. And now looking through the app, we have a lot of telemetry at the top. We have signal strength, uh, distance, height, vertical speed, uh, horizontal speed. Um, right here we have the uh, camera switch where we can switch between the bottom camera and the top camera. We can switch on flipping the image upside down or splitting the screen for FPV goggles. Um, here we can enable HD uh, recording. We can also see our photo gallery. Um, here we have our picture and video buttons. And here are virtual controls. And we have an MV music video button that enables filters. And we have our um, uh, auto takeoff. And here we have our special functions such as waypoints. Here we have our follow me and gesture controls. And then we also have our um, point of interest or circular orbit. And then we have our return to home. And here we can enable map view where we can draw our waypoints and have the quadcopter fly those waypoints. And we also have our emergency stop and all those other features. So uh, pretty cool pretty clear image and so overall a very good package very well built uh, good quality quadcopter it would have been nice to have a dedicated SD card slot so that the footage is smooth and high frame rate and doesn't have to be streamed in where it can have some lag but aside from that it's a very sturdy uh, smooth flying quadcopter it has a great flight time it's foldable, has uh, good GPS, um, not GLONASS, but still very accurate GPS. And so overall, a, uh, a pretty good quadcopter that you can put a custom camera on if necessary. So let's take it out for a spin and see how she performs.
Thank you.